Uh, hello, my name is Luise. I'm from Germany and I'm a student at SNU. I'm in my junior year in international relations right now. I'm not on any scholarship, but I used to do a so-called work-study scholarship where you basically work for a few hours every week for a school office and you will get a certain amount of money in return so you can cover your living expenses with that. My name is Tanya and I am from Kazakhstan. I am a senior student at SNU, major in communications department. And right now I'm on a scholarship called Kyona Chakum, meaning that my department is giving me a scholarship depending on my GPA. And I used to also receive a scholarship called Global Talent Scholarship, which is uh, covering fully your tuition and also giving you monthly allowance of 1 million won. So, hey, Ayo, hi, my name is Nadi and um, I'm from Mongolia. I'm in my third year majoring in business administration for a bachelor degree. And also I'm in the work study scholarship. Can I just be honest? Yeah, be honest. Go ahead. QS ranking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a very important factor, yeah. obviously. Like, not the only one, maybe, but I think QS ranking is a very valid factor in making a decision. Not only does it have, for, for example, in my area, like, Pan Ki Moon was um, SNU alumni. So, there are, in a lot of areas, there are really popular alumni from SNU. The moment when I found out about SNU, I was really amazed and uh, interested in the media in Korea, and then I, uh, yeah, and then I found out BTS because they were the most like popular band, and then I re I learned that uh, Pan Si Hyuk, the like the CEO of the whole thing, also was alumni of SNU, and then I was like, whoa, SNU, number one school in Korea, why not apply there? And that all happened like at once. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. That's so mean. That's me. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. <laughs> One, two, three. Because I don't really ride the shuttle bus that much anyways. I prefer just walking. We're kind of lucky because our school social sciences is very like central on campus. So it's very close to everything. But not eating on campus, like the ton on menu, it's saving my life. I have to eat in the cafeteria. <laughs> No, actually, yeah, I, I kind of confused this too. Yeah, I'm A too. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, because like I live in the dorms and actually my dorms and the social sciences, like the one thing between these two is just like one hill. So I just, yeah, I can just walk. Yeah. So a lot of people go through like art school because art school is also kind of central and you can just, you take the elevators, you go in through one entrance and then you go out through the other entrance. Also, there is like a huge stairs uh, behind the, um, the fine arts buildings. Yeah, uh, it's just like it's this stair connects like part of the dormitory with the school campus. I'm B. Shuttle bus is for free, but food I have to pay. So it's a good motivation to finally start to dive. Also, she lives like outside of school oh. campus. Yeah, Sharosugir yeah, is the best. Mm -hmm. We call the area Sharosugir. It's Sha University and Karosugir, so they just name it Sharosugir. Yeah. yeah, I think we eat there like a lot of times. There's a place called Yoseng. Uh, it's shortened for the yogurt and sandwich. Like, yeah, this is the best place there. Korea is food heaven. One, two, three. A, B. Why did you pick B? Because now we don't have to wear a mask at the library. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And everything you need is basically there. Um, our library is one of the biggest libraries in Korea. Which floor you study at the most? Please. Seventh floor, yeah. yeah okay. mm. The seventh and eighth floor, they allow using the computer there and they have like all the charging places on every table, every seat. I like going to the library when I really have like an essay to write or I really need to cram it for an exam when there's a high pressure situation, I guess. But also, sometimes that's just a bit too intense for me personally. Like, I like going to cafes because there is a lot of really nice cafes around campus as well. Like, you don't even have to leave campus, but the atmosphere is just a little bit more relaxed. I love studying with my friends, uh, and at a cafe, you can actually talk. Like, you have like study session and then like five minute talk. Like, I used to go to the library in one of my semesters, like every day. 
and there were the same people sitting on the same seat every single day and it made me sick i was like i am one of those people like i need to go out and study somewhere else yeah they even get a crush in the library because they uh. sit, sit in the same <laughs> seat all the time maybe you can become a cc couple right okay. <laughs> points for the library i guess first of all there is nadi i will let you introduce it the business school cafe ah the roaster 59. Yeah. Um, it tastes good, but a little bit pricey. Uh, but the good thing is that it's actually networking lounge of the business school, so you don't have to order. You can just sit there. It's and actually, yeah, it's the fanciest place on the school campus. Once you're inside, you feel like that's not SNU. That's like you know, hotel. <laughs> like mm. it looks, it looks really like like very high quality in both aesthetics and the coffee itself. I am one of those people! One, one two, three! Yes! Everyone's going for fun. Definitely. Why did you choose that? I think for me, your whole life at SNU already evolves around academics and studying in a way. So I would recommend a lot of the sport clubs actually. And I'm actually part of the lacrosse team at SNU, which I really, really enjoy because it gives me the opportunity to exercise. We also participate in tournaments with other schools. So it gives you the opportunity to meet students from other schools. I did the film stu student club. No, 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 not film. Camera. Okay. We used to go out together and take pictures with the film camera and then develop the film by ourselves. Wow. That's in so the nice. student club room. Oh, oh it's school campus. Room? Huh, it's wow. in the campus. I made my best friendships. Yeah, I, I met my best friends in the clubs that were actually fun and were closer to my interests and hobbies rather than my academics. So, yeah. I personally found it very useful and <laughs> yeah, very useful. I mean, on school campus, you can do the tonari, like the school club, which will be useful for your future career. Last semester, I took this class with this Korean student and he was not majoring in business, but he was in a student club called Inactus. Oh, Inactus. Inactus, yeah. It's a startup club. Like, how do you start a club? Yeah. So you do a bunch of students just work as a team and then do their own business and maybe experiencing more than I learned, you know. In your classes, you mean? Uh, mm. You should join the club. <laughs> <laughs> One day. <laughs> Please speak up. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> so there is actually um, International Students Association at SNU called CISA. So we, we are actually all CISA Instagram, part of CISA, yeah. <laughs> Our ultimate goal is to help international students. And for that, we do two main things. First, we answer questions students have and help them um, adapt, adapt um, the on a school campus. Oh, exactly. Do you want to continue, Tanya? <laughs> no, no, no. And second, we arrange and hold uh, various kind of events for students. The last event we had was our welcoming party, <laughs> especially for new students, because I think it's very overwhelming when you come to a new school. It's all in Korean. Maybe you don't know where to make friends, where to meet people. CISA's got you. Um, starting abroad itself, you're already out of your comfort comfort zone, and then just go a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, a little bit further. <laughs> and to be honest. Like when you get older, you, I'm not talking <laughs> like a 50 year old woman, right? Like when you get older, I feel. you just uh, forget about those kind of little moments when you felt scared or uh, afraid of things. You, just, you remember only the happy moments. So just do it whatever you want. Like in Korean, yeah, it's the last thing you have to worry about. Okay, only, only one to three. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. One, one, two, two three. three. Uh, <laughs> At least I'm motivated enough to study, but for boring classes, I 
I'm very tempted to drop them. Yeah. And for me, it's mostly like uh, I choose on what is going to be like help, helpful for me in the future. If I take a class that is kind of boring just for the grade, I would be wasting time because I'm not going to university to get good grades, but I want to learn interesting things and do things that I'm actually having fun doing. Oh, Python! <laughs> Really though? <laughs> yes, it's like fun. she's just saying that to sound cool. smart. I don't like writing essays. Like ca calculus was very difficult, but it was fun. Similar for me, I took a class called Man in the Universe, which is actually an astrophysics class, which is very different. I liked it. Wow, no, it's very likes different from class. my major. I think it was fun in a fun way to another subject area. Even if it was hard, it was still pretty cool, and I would recommend it. Well, this semester I'm taking class called Future News Practice and it's actually like six credit class but it's really hard to get an A plus but it's really helpful for the future career. Oh yes, it surprised me a lot. <laughs> um, so in Mongolia there is not much academic pressure going on during high school. In Germany I think there's very much this mindset of like having balance between studying but then also having free time, having your hobbies. And I was very surprised at seeing that a lot of students at SNU really completely sacrificed like, their free time in order to study. I remember I used to study for 14 hours a day to just like get used to the atmosphere. Do you want to say like on the three? Uh. Like I think we we're gonna say the same thing, you know? Okay. Okay. One, two, two three. Pomse. Two, two nights. Okay. Night. <laughs> two nights. Yeah, night I pulled an all nighter for two days, but don't do that. Not recommended. Okay. Don't cram. Never cram. I crammed. Not healthy. But pomse, yeah, like you just don't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like everybody does that at SNU, but like two nights, that's crazy. Professional procrastinator. <laughs> Not gonna do yeah. that. Not doing that this semester. Okay, that was great. So that sort of brings us to an end okay. of our Would You Rather section. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. And then we can go on to our quiz section. Mm. Okay.